All right, paper callers, let's talk about how paper call works. Paper call is an advertising model that allows businesses to buy inbound phone calls from consumers who are interested in their products or services. This model is amazing for the business because it shifts the cost of acquisition risk from the advertiser, which is the company that needs customers, to the paper call network, which can be a broker, or directly to the affiliates, promoters of their offer. And offers are their products or services or whatever that company needs to sell. This allows the advertiser or business to predict their cost of acquisition and stabilize their marketing activities while providing a unique opportunity for the brokers and affiliates to create large amounts of profit by leveraging their marketing abilities. And what's amazing about paper call is the fact that it really truly creates a win-win situation for everybody involved. And whenever you can create a win-win situation that's commission-based and has unlimited potential, that's how people can start with literally nothing and make tens of millions of dollars very quickly if they're willing to work really, really hard. And so phone calls carry the highest intent of any consumer action. People only call if they're actually interested in the product or service offering and they know when they call that they, that they may buy something. So when people pick up the phone, they only call when it's super important to them and typically when they're ready to whip out their credit card and buy right away. And that's the exciting thing about phone calls and why it's really good for the businesses and really good for the brokers and affiliates. For instance, if a company buying phone calls is paying $10 per call and have, has an average close ratio of 25%, they know their cost of acquiring a customer is approximately $40 every single time. And that changes the game for businesses because most of the time when a business owner or even a large scale business wants more customers, they have to figure out how to actually advertise to get those customers. And they don't know always what the cost of acquisition is going to be. And so paper call allows them to really understand what their cost of acquisition is so that they can have a consistent marketing campaign and can just focus on running their business. And that means they don't have to take the risk of new advertising campaigns, learning new promotional methods, creating new promotional materials, and other skills related to marketing. The advertiser or business can simply focus on their business and leave all of the marketing and user acquisition to their partners. And that's where you come in. The fixed cost of a call also creates a huge opportunity for skilled and clever marketers to come up with new ways to promote the campaign. And so the advertiser is never aware of the cost of acquisition, so they have no idea what the affiliate or broker's profit margin is. Thus, once a successful campaign is designed and running, the promoters can reap the benefits for as long as the advertiser is willing to buy the calls or as long as the campaign lasts. And like I said before, that's a true win-win for all parties involved. It means once you figure out how to generate these phone calls for the buyers, you never let them know what your profit margin is and maybe you're selling a call for $25 and it only costs you $2 to generate and the vast majority of it is profit for you and then you can just continue to profit on an ongoing basis while working with your partners and they're super happy about this because they know what their cost of acquisition is. Uh, it is really an amazing advertising model. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna cover an example of a simple pay per call flow from start to finish so that you understand uh, the journey of a consumer as they go through this process and what happens every step of the way. So first of all, an advertiser, which is a business like we just talked about, creates their pay per call campaign. And this is for a product or a service that they wanna sell. Now these products or service can literally be anything from any industry all over the world. I want you to think about things you've seen before on billboards, TV infomercials, heard on the radio, seen online. Uh, just about any time you're instructed to call someone to buy, this can be a paper call campaign. And so it can be for dentist office, it can be for plastic surgeons, lawyers, tow trucks, it can be in the insurance industry. I mean, literally anything where someone can pick up the phone and make a purchase, you can create a pay per call campaign out of it. And the great news is, pay per call is still relatively new. And so the vast majority of campaigns 
that you can actually create for this industry and this billing model haven't been done yet, which means you're moving into an industry that's on an accelerating growth path, and that's exactly where you want to be and to position yourself to create a long-lasting, highly profitable business. Okay, step two. A paper call network promotes a campaign to their publishers. So most of the time there are brokers that connect affiliates and advertisers together, and affiliates are also publishers. These terms can be interchanged. And so these brokers are usually called paper call networks, and they facilitate the relationships, the tracking, and the accounting between all of the parties. And so essentially the broker sits in the middle and connects the advertisers and the publishers together so that neither party has to go through the process of managing all those connections. And so networks and brokers take a margin or a cut of that transaction between the advertisers payout and what they pay affili affiliates to facilitate this process and manage some of the setup, creation of the assets, and do all that business development work. Now, publishers come and apply for that paper call campaign and will receive a unique tracking number. And so once campaigns are set up by networks, affiliates can apply and promote these campaigns and receive commissions for every valid inbound call that they generate that qualifies for a commission. And so there's all sorts of different rules and requirements for every campaign. And as long as a call meets those rules and requirements, it'll generate a commission. And so typically, a network will provide an affiliate a phone number to use uh, in promoting their offer to route their phone calls. And so essentially what will happen is this broker or network gives a phone call to their affiliate, the affiliate takes that phone, or excuse me, gives a phone number to their affiliate, that affiliate takes the phone number, they place it on their promotional materials, on the internet, on websites, blogs, billboards, whatever they're gonna do, um, and then, Whenever someone calls, the network tracks that. Now, I want you guys to be aware that it's really important that you use your own call tracking. Now, a lot of affiliates in the space don't do this because honestly, there's an additional cost of using a call tracking platform. We couldn't create Ringba if people didn't pay us to do it. But if you do not have your own call tracking, then you cannot tell if the network statistics are accurate. You have no visibility into what's going on on that phone call. You don't know if the call was legit. You don't know if the call ever happened in the first place. And there's absolutely no way for you know, to know for sure how many calls you're actually generating if you do not have your own call tracking. And so if you wanna build a real business in paper call, step one is really truly to use your own call tracking to keep all of these people honest. Now there's a million other reasons why you need your own call tracking. We're gonna cover that a little bit later. But first and foremost, if you do not have your own call tracking, you cannot keep your partners honest, which means they can steal from you, plain and simple. Step four, publishers generate inbound calls through their traffic sources. So publishers then create advertising campaigns on the internet, or through traditional media or other channels to hopefully find consumers that are interested in the advertiser's products or services. And so, like I said, a publisher is gonna take that number, they're gonna put it on a blog, maybe an insurance blog, where people come to find out information about insurance, and then people see the phone number, call it, and when those calls happen, the publisher generates a commission. Now, Next step of the chain is, like I just said, the customer sees the tracking numbers and clicks to call. Or they pick up their phone and call if they're on a desktop computer. So customers see the advertisement, and if they're interested in the product or services that are offered, they call the affiliate's unique tracking number. Sometimes affiliates use multiple numbers for each individual website or marketing channel they promote in. I highly recommend that, and that's another reason why you need your own call tracking platform so that you can get your own phone numbers and place them all over the place to see what channels are working for you. Now, the call is tracked in the network's tracking platform and attributed to the publisher that generated the call. So when a customer calls that unique tracking number, the network's call tracking platform, whether they use Ringba or otherwise, credits the affiliate 
with the phone call and keeps track of all the caller's information and commissions owed to the affiliate. Typically, networks use third-party tracking platforms to provide transparency and ensure that statistics are unaltered. And what that means is networks will use platforms like Ringba that have paper call network functionality so that you know that the network statistics are real and honest because we as a company guarantee that. Now there are some networks that have their own tracking platforms and they create them internally. And I cannot say truthfully whether or not their statistics are ever accurate because they do not let any third party audit their platforms. We can't see what's in the code. We don't know what's really going on. And so if you're gonna work with a network that has their own proprietary tracking platform, again, you absolutely have to have your own call tracking so that you can keep these people honest. Because if you don't, there's no way to know what's really going on in those call flows. So the customer calls, they called the tracking number, and now they're routed to the advertiser. So after the call, the consumer is routed to the advertiser's call center through the network in real time. So they literally, they pick up the phone, they dial the number, and then within a few seconds are connected in real time. Now, depending on the network or broker, the call may go to any number of potential buyers based on the caller's information, the concurrency available, the hours of operation of the buyers, the capacity, and other limiting factors. So just because you're driving calls to a uh, paper call network or a broker, doesn't mean the same buyer answers the phone every single time. Those calls are getting load balanced all over the place, and we're gonna talk about that later in the program. So next, a publisher receives commission for calls that meet payout criteria for the campaign. When a call meets all of the required qualification criteria, the affiliate is credited their commissions for the call. Now, every campaign is gonna have unique qualifications the callers have to meet like geographic location, certain demographic information, the duration of the call, IVR choices, and a whole slew of other things that have to be met depending on what the call is. For instance, if you're running a campaign for debt consolidation and one of the requirements is the caller has more than $10,000 in unsecured debt, well, if the caller answers an IVR choice that's do you have less than $10,000 in unsecured debt? Please press one. You probably aren't getting paid for that call because it did not meet the requirements. Or if it's an insurance campaign and the company is only licensed to take calls in California and you send them a bunch of calls from Massachusetts, those calls are probably not gonna get paid for because they don't meet the criteria of the campaign. And so here is what an actual flow looks like of a very simple standard paper call campaign. And I'm gonna walk you through it here from start to finish. So the network starts out by creating an offer. They're gonna go and find an advertiser, a buyer for their phone calls, or maybe five or six buyers, or maybe 50 different buyers if they're in insurance and every state is licensed separately. And then they create an offer. And that offer goes to the publisher or the affiliate. And so for sake of this example, we'll stick to the debt consolidation offer. So they create an offer where they're looking for people who have more than $10,000 in unsecured credit card debt, and they will pay $30 a phone call for that. So you're signed up on their network. You see this offer. You get approved to run it. The network gives you a tracking number, okay? Now, you're smart enough to have your own call tracking, so you route, their tra uh, you route your tracking number to their tracking number, and you put your tracking number on a mobile advertisement. And then a consumer searches for, I need help with debt on Google, and your ad pops up. They go, oh wow, this, this company can help me with my debt. They click it, and then they accept the click to call, and an inbound call is generated through your tracking number on Ringba, which routes to this paper call network, which eventually routes to their buyer. Now, once the buyer is on the phone with the customer, they qualify that customer, and if it meets all the payout criteria and it's a qualified phone call, they issue a payout to the network. The network then issues you your $30 in commission, and that is how a paper call network campaign works start to finish.